Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, Sara, how are you? I'm fine, very well. Excellent. And you, teacher? Um, I'm doing pre pretty good. How was your day? It's hard. Uh, I was uh, working and very traffic. Oh, there was a lot of traffic today. Do you live in San Salvador too? Yes, yeah, in the morning. Uh, yeah. At nine, no more. Okay. So yeah, the traffic is so hard all over there. I don't like it. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, and how about the platform, Sara? Are you done with that? Yes, I finished. I am done. Okay, and were you able to send the documents to register for the new, um, the new level? It's correct. Okay, very good. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, Edwin. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thanks. I, it was a nice day because working is very quiet. And okay. It's normal. Yeah. All right. That's the, good. the weather is the weather is better than yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. also. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, has it been raining over there? No. Every day is. Uh, hot. Oh, okay. In, in a few hours, mm -hmm. late. But okay. no, it's not. It's not late. Right. Okay, so things are getting better. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Good evening, Betsaida. Hi, Betsaida. Mm, I can hear you, Miss. So, let's see. Good evening, Roberto Suarez. Good evening, teacher. How are How you? How are you? I'm doing pretty I'm well, and you? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm I'm very very tired, but, oh, really? but I'm fine. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, how was your day? Um, it's a uh, a hard day okay. because I I training very hard in the noon and then in the work um, um, helps the uh, department of installation and, and so hard. <laughs> okay, you had a lot to do. Yes. All right, and uh, are you done with the platform, with the work in the platform, Roberto? I finished. Um, today. Okay, you did it. Nice, congratulations. Thank you. Good evening, Freddy. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? Everything is okay. What about you? Well, doing great. Cool. Nice, and uh, how was your day? Did you have any classes today? Uh, no, tomorrow we are going to going to oh. return to class. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yes, but today it wasn't good or bad. It was bored. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> good. good evening, Urania. Urania, hello.
Good evening, Miss Lily. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. How are you? Hello, good evening. Hello, how are you? Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Oh, Urania, can you hear me? Maybe not. How are you? Nice to see you. Oh, nice to see you too. I'm doing well, and you? Fine, thanks. Excellent. Good evening, Norma. Yes, I hear you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Miss. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, Miss. My Excellent. Day was fine, really thanks. Fine. I'm taller because I, yes, I work all day long. Okay. I can imagine, yeah. But tomorrow is Friday, so we must be in the good mood, right? <laughs> good evening, Carol Rivera. Good evening, teacher. How's How it going? You? How are you? Fine. Um, and I wore a uh, so so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Are you done with the platform? Uh, yes. Okay. Nice. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Good evening, Joel Beaches. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm good. Okay, I'm nice. glad to hear that. Okay, uh, how was your day? Oh, it was great. Nice. I was working very hard. <laughs> okay. And were you able to finish with all the work in the platform? Yes, I finished all the works in the platform. Okay. Now I have I have my diploma. <laughs> nice. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. So I think we may start with the class. So welcome to our last class, everybody. Um well. Yesterday we were practicing a conversation. Let me just go back. I just want to um, review pronunciation. So let's read it one more time. Um, let me just get it. Brothers and sisters, do you have me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need you to repeat. How many brothers and sisters do you have, May Lee? How many brothers and sisters do you have, May Lee? Oh. Actually, I'm, a, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm an only child. Actually, Actually I am an only child. child. Really? 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 Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. Yeah, yes. most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. I didn't, I didn't know, know that. that. What about you, Marcos? What about, what about you, Marcos? Marcos? I come from a big family. I, I come from, from a big family. 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 I have three brothers and two sisters. I, I have, have three brothers, brothers and two, and two sisters. sisters. Whoa. 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 Is that typical in Peru? Is that typical, Is that typical in, Peru? in Peru? Not really. Not, Not really. really. Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. 
But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. But, but if families are great because you get lots of um, birthday presents. <laughs> okay, so repeat after oh, me. Brothers. <laughs> brothers. 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 Sisters. 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 Actually. 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 Child. 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 Only child. Only child. Really? Really? Most. Most. Families. Families. China. China. Nowadays. 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 Typical. Sorry. Typical. 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 Peru. 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 Not really. Not, Not really. really. A lot of. 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 Smaller. 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 These days. These days. These days. Lots These. of. Lots, Lots of. Love. of. Birthday. 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 Present. 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 Okay. Um, so, Urania, you were asking about nowadays, right? No, Sully. Oh, Sully. So, Sully, uh, well, nowadays is similar in meaning to these days. In la actualidad, en estos días, en ese tiempo. En estos días, estos días. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Do we have any other question about the vocabulary or the pronunciation? No. No, no. All right, so now we are going to talk a little bit about quantifiers. So let me just play the video. I need you to pay attention. And um, well, when we stop the video, we are going to explain about it. This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use the words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all. And then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns. Except, no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count. Okay, so that is what we have for quantifiers. Um, oh, just before we continue, I had a question for you. So, um, well, to retake the, the topic of the conversation, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Let's see, Norma. How many brothers and sisters do you have? 
I four sisters and one brother. Four sisters and one brother. You have a big family. Yeah. That's yeah, nice. A big family. Carol, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Um, and one and one sister. Okay, very good. Carlos yes. Celaya, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have three brothers. Three brothers, okay. Three brothers. Great. Sully, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one sister. One sister, okay, nice. Flora Argentina, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two sisters and one brother. Okay, excellent. Edwin, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, teacher, I have three sisters. Three sisters, you're the only boy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, pretty good. Freddy, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, teacher. I got two sisters and one brother. Okay, nice. Roberto, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have uh, four sisters and one brother. Okay, you have a big family too. Joel Beaches, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have four sisters and two brothers. Four sisters and two brothers, nice. Let's see, Urania, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have one sister and one brothers. Okay. Betsaida, do you have any brothers or sisters? Betsaida, are you there? Yes, teacher. Oh. I only had two sisters. You got two sisters, okay. Sara Jacobo, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Yes, teacher, I have two sisters. You got two sisters. Okay, yes. and Jamie, how about you? I have five sisters and one brother. Five sisters and one brother, okay, nice. And I think Irma is missing. So Irma, tell me, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have only uh, three sisters. Three sisters. Okay. Very yes. good. All right. So now um, let's talk a little bit about the quantifiers. In this lesson, you will be exposed to quantifiers and their meanings. So as you were explaining the video, well, we talk about percentages. So we go from 100% to 0%. And... Uh, well, we start with all, then we go down with nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, and no one. No one. Now repeat, please. All. 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 Nearly all. all. Most. 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 Many. 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 Most. A lot of. Many. A lot of. A lot of. Some. 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 Not many. Not, Not many. many. A few. A few. A few. A few. A few. A few. Few? Few. 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 No one. No one. No one. 
Okay, so remember that we use the quantifiers together with a plural noun. So we can say all women, nearly all families, most people, many students, a lot of what? A lot of children, for instance. So you always need a plural noun right after the quantifier, except with the one we have here at the no bottom, one. no one. With no one, the only thing that we need is a verb. No one gets married, says the example, right? No one goes to school. And also it's important to notice that we use it with the third person. So you always need S for the verbs in the simple present. No one gets, no one goes, no one uses. And then let's take a look at the knowledge check. Okay, my internet is slow. Sure. Yes. There were several. Can we when, can we uh, we take a word in the data escape? Several. Sorry, can you repeat it, please? I couldn't get it. Uh, the word several. Mm -hmm. Several. Yes. Uh, can can we we take that word in the in that scale? Oh yeah, several would be like many. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you. All right, so we are going to develop this knowledge check right now. And we have to read the following sentences. Select the response with the quantifier closest in meaning. So the first one says, in China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. What would be the correct option? Do we say a lot of women, few women, or all a women? Lot. A lot of. Yeah, a in lot China, of. a lot of. A lot of. A lot of, right? In China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. That would be the 50%, let's say. Number two, can you help me to read it, Sara? Um, in Australia, 88% of married groups have children. Um, the answer is um, in Australia, nearly all of married have children. Thank you. We say nearly all, nearly all of married, uh, of married couples have children, right? The 87%. Couples. couples. Okay. Thank you. Next one. Um, let's see who's going to help me with this. Carol. Carol Rivera. Yes. Help me to read, please. Number three. In the United States, a uh, zero? Uh, zero percent zero percent of the people uh, the vote 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 before the again before the again of uh, 18 18 pardon the age 18. of 18 thank you 18 Okay, now tell me what would be the correct option? Few people, all people, or no one? No one? No one, that's right. Zero percent. Yes. No one. Thank you. Yes, no one. Next one, Carlos Celaya. Thirty-five percent of the people in Germany live alone. Okay, thank you. So we say some people, a few people, or most people. It's the 30, thirty-five percent. 
So what do we say? Some, a few, or most? Some people. Some people. Do you all agree to that? A few. A few. I would say a few over a, here because few, we're talking about people. the 35%. Yes. Remember yes, that yes, some would people. be um, around 50%. And then most is higher, so we say a few. Um, all right, next one, Flor Argentina. Okay. Um, seven, 78% of American high school students have jobs. All right, so that yeah, represents, um, um, well, that most, is the most American, not most American. American. Most, most American mm -hmm. high school students have jobs. Very good. Okay, so that's the way we use the quantifiers. Oh, I was just going to tell you about pronunciation of this word. So you say of, of, as if it was like this. Of, it's not of, it's of. Okay, repeat please, of. 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 Okay. So just keep it in mind. Here we say a lot of, a lot of. A lot of. And also we have lot. this one, lots of, lots of. Lots, lots of. of. Lots and of. They both mean the same, okay? You can use them in the lots same situations. Of. A lot of or lots of. They mean the same. Lots of. A lot of. Okay, so in order to keep on practicing the quantifiers, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms so you have some time to make example sentences using them, right? So you make a sentence using all, another one using nearly all, another one with most, and you use them all, okay? Is that right? Okay. Thank all right, you. so let me just send you to the breakout rooms right now. There you are. And I'm sending you a picture to the chat. Right now, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All people hear the first sentences. All people here is happily because the class is finish, finishing now. And some people are sad. sad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Just remember that we really? use people with are, people are, okay? People are, okay, yeah. are, okay. Okay, no one, no one uh, support Donald Trump right now. Donald Trump mm -hmm. right now. That's a good example. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's Joy Biden. Okay, most, most of Americans uh, are happy about the Joe Biden victory. Yeah. <laughs> Another one. Okay. And you back Spider. A, <laughs> a lot of people uh, feel bad in this moment for the problem. I don't know how to say what More I can. <laughs> Uh, hurricane. 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 Um, yeah, it's true. Okay. 
Mouse it. Another, Another sentence. sentence. Mouse. No. Okay. Neither. Mouse. Nearly all people in in this country, El Salvador, are happily with the actual president. Nearly all. Nearly all. Yes. Oh. A few is. I don't remember. Few. Uh, few. A few. Few. Casi, casi todos. No. Few is. Few. Pocos. Poco. Oh, poco. Pocos. Mm. Is it is exist a uh, uh, movie? Uh, its name is uh, for a. Uh, you ten dollars. Oh, really? For unos cuantos dollars. Uh -huh. Okay. Not many people think that Cristiano Ronaldo is the best player in the world. <laughs> yeah, it's true too. Yeah. Okay. Um, many, many people uh, go to church. Today, yes. what means church? Church. Church. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Church. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All people. People again. No. Other. Other words. Yes. Oh. For the rain. Okay. Uh, nearly, nearly all people is using the car. Uh, how, how do you say hoy en día? In, uh, no... Nowadays. 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 Uh, nowadays. 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 Nowadays for the, no, for no. the rain. No aguadays, no. <laughs> <laughs> no aguadays for, for the rain. Mm -hmm. For the rain, okay. Just remember that we say people are, okay? Many are. people are using. People are using, ah, okay, okay. Many people, okay. Uh, nearly all people are using. Very good. What else? Uh, uh, Few families are bigger this day. A few families family are bigger. Are bigger these days. This day. Ah, very good. And my family is small. My family. The, no, they have. Dejen al, dejen al alcohol de fuera. De, después a mí me achacan que, que yo ando incitando a la gente. Like pupusas. Like pupusas, vaya. Y uh, con many, yo puse, we have many friends. We have many. We have many friends. We have many friends. Uh, con a lot of, I need a lot of water. Necesito mucha agua o un montón de agua. Mucha agua. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Water. Y con some puse, you need to buy some books. You need... To people. Hi, Carol and Irma. Hi, teacher. How's it going? ¿Cómo vamos? Mm, más o menos. <laughs> okay, do you have any questions? <laughs> sí. Yo tenía eh, no, O sea, no en todas las oraciones hay que poner porcentaje, ¿verdad? 
Eh, no, no vamos a utilizar los porcentajes, sino que más bien vamos a utilizar los quantifiers. Entonces tiene que usar many, um, all, nearly all, no one. No sé si han hecho a algún few? ejemplo. Ya, yeah, a few. Eh, ya, yeah. um, many children uh, to visit on the park. Many children visit the park. Mm -hmm. yes. Visit the park. Yes. That's good. Okay. 70% people you have. Sorry, can you repeat it? 70% uh, people use 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 mask. Use mask. Okay, um, yes, let's just substitute that 70% for a quantifier. Sustituyamos el, el, el 70% por un quantifier. Sería... Um, maybe many? Oh, mm. many people most or most uh -huh. many people uh -huh. most people yep and use the mask exactly most many people. people use face mask um nowadays we could say okay Uh -huh. La idea es que en lugar de usar los porcentajes, porque normalmente pues no tenemos eh, evidencia ¿verdad? para decir un cierto porcentaje, no tenemos en realidad eh, una forma de medir, entonces utilizamos los quantifiers, muchos, okay. pocos, algunos. Ok. Um... Okay, entonces, all the people have to use masks. Yes, all the people have to use masks. That is right. Okay. Not many people, they use the masks, the face masks. Yeah, you could also say many people. En esos casos realmente se puede utilizar cualquiera. Los podemos probar mm -hmm. todos y cualquiera podría quedar bien en la oración. Entonces, okay. ¿de qué va a depender cuál escoja? De mm -hmm. eh, qué tanto se, se haga o no se haga lo que estamos hablando. Por ejemplo, si utilizo all, like all people wear face masks. Mm -hmm. Toda la gente, right? That is 100%. Okay. Toda la gente. Si digo, por ejemplo, some people wear face masks, algunas personas usan las mascarillas. Algunas, okay. ya no es el 100%, sino que digamos que un 50% más o menos. Mm -hmm. And we could also say a few people wear masks. Poca gente, right? Entonces okay. todo depende de la cantidad de la que estemos hablando. And uh, a few, if you, uh, is similar? Yeah, it's similar. Yeah. Se utilizan okay. igual. Okay. All people want to celebrate Christmas? It's okay. Yes, it's perfect. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're getting back to the main room right now, um, and we're going to continue making some examples, okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Right. Okay, so let me hear some of your examples. Let's see. Carlos Celaya, do you have one using all? Sorry, can you check your microphone, please?
Hello, teacher. Hi. Paul. Yes, please. Yeah, I don't know, teacher. Is a is a. No, teacher. Is not. I don't know. Okay. Call, don't worry. Don't you form the question? Okay. Don't worry. Let me get an example from another person. Let's see, Edwin. Do you have one? By me again. Okay. Oh, come on, participate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> One point. Oh okay. yeah, sure. <laughs> um, all people, all people in this classroom are sad because the classes finish today. All right, excellent. Thank you, Edwin. Let's okay. see. Um, Joel Beaches, do you have one example you see nearly all? Um, Joel, check your microphone, please. Okay. All the cats, uh, nearly all the cats come out at night. Okay. <laughs> Very good. That's right. <laughs> Flora Argentina, give me an example you see most. Most people like movies. Most people like movies, excellent. Freddy, tell me an example you've seen many. Okay, like an example that you hear, many people are happy because Joe Biden won the election, the United States election. Yes. Okay, very good. Sara Jacobo, tell me an example you've seen a lot of. Um, a lot of um, for example um, the a lot of people are using the car for the rain uh, okay very good Norma can you tell me an example using some Okay, some some people. Uh, okay, I need to buy some books. Okay, I need to buy some books. Very good. Roberto, tell me an example using not many. Que <laughs> larga. Roberto? Okay, how about Urania? Not many people like the cats. Okay, thank you, Urania. Jamie, okay. tell me an example using a few. Few people play video games. All right, thank you. Betsaida, few. Uh, few people like to spend at home. Okay, thank you. Carlos Celaya, no one. No one. People go to school. No one goes. Go so people. Go in this school. case, thank you. So in this case, you do not okay. need to add another noun. You only say no one goes to school because of the pandemic. No one goes. Can we make another example using no one? Let's see, anybody? No one is perfect. Exactly, no one is perfect. Very good. 
another one. No one. Freddy, do you have one? Oh, yes. No one hates the Christmas. No one Christmas hates day. Christmas. Christmas Day. Okay, very good. So notice that we only need to add a verb in the form of the verb is in the third person, okay? So we use goes, is, hates. So you take it as a third person. Any questions, any doubts? Maybe not. Okay, let's continue. So now let's talk a little bit about the present simple and the present continuous. So it may be kind of confusing, right? When do I use which one? Do I use the simple present or do I need the, the present continuous? Well, we got some differences. So first of all, let's talk about their use. We use the simple present or the present simple for talking about habits and regular or repeated actions. So those are the things that we do every day. For example, I take a shower every day, I wake up early in the morning, I go to work and so on. I travel every year. So those are habits or regular actions. And then when it comes to the present continuous, we say that its use is for actions or for talking about actions in progress, things that are going on around, and also for talking about the near future. For example, when I say I'm reading a book, that is because I'm doing it at the moment. Or if I say I'm traveling tomorrow, that will be near future. Then um, some time markers that we have in each of the tenses. So we have for the present simple, always, never, often, sometimes, every day, once a month, twice a week. For example, you can say, I always go to church. I always go to church. I never, um, what, I never visit my grandma. And then we have for the present continuous, we got time expressions like now, right now, at the moment, these days, and this month. And for example, I'm explaining the topic right now. And then about the structures or the forms or for the sentences in each of the tenses, well, for the affirmative in the present simple, we add S to the verb in third person. So let's see, tell me an example, please. Tell me a sentence in the simple present. She drives a car. She drives a car. Okay, now make another example using I. I am brush my teeth. I brush, I brush my teeth. Very good. And then we get to the present continuous in the affirmative form. So- um, She's the driving. Structure... Yeah, go ahead. She's driving a car. She is driving a car. Okay, and the other one would be? I'm brushing my teeth. I'm brushing my teeth. So as you see, we need a subject, then the verb be, then the verb in ing form. So in the present simple, just add S to the third person. In the present continuous, we use the ing form of the verbs. Then we got the negative. For the negative in the simple present, we use don't or doesn't. Tell me an example, please. Uh, 
It doesn't drive a car. Okay, she doesn't drive a car. Another one? I don't brush my teeth. Okay, I don't brush my teeth. Then we have the negative form of the present continuous. For that, we need a subject, then the verb be, then the not, and the verb in ing once again. So please give me an example. She is not driving a car. She is not driving a car or she isn't driving a car. And the other one would be? I don't I am. know. I am not. I am, I am not, not brushing I am not my teeth. Brushing my teeth. Okay. Okay. Then we get to the questions. In the simple present, we use the auxiliaries do or the. Oh, well, I made a mistake over here. So it's do or does. Let me just fix it. So please tell me a question using do or does. She does she does she does write in correct okay. car. Um, again, does she <laughs> does she does, does she, she drive a car? Drive a car. Drive a car. Okay. And the other one is. Do I brush my teeth? Do I Brush. Do I brush my teeth? Brush my teeth. Okay, now let's move to the present continuous side. What would be the question? Is she driving a car? Is she driving a car? And? Am I brushing my teeth? I am. Am I brushing my teeth? All right, so that is what we have in these tenses. The present simple for habits, regular or repeated actions, the present continuous for actions in progress in near future. Let's see here, I have an exercise to have a clearer idea about this. So here we have you come tonight. Do we say, are you coming tonight or do you come tonight? What do you think? Do you come tonight? Do you come tonight? Are you sure? Are you? Are you? Tonight? Are you? Are you? Yes. Are you coming are you, tonight? Are you? Are you? Are you? So we choose, are you coming because of the word tonight? So that will refer to the, the near future, right? Then we okay. have another one. It says, where is it? Okay. Well, my screen is frozen. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. Oh, okay. So my screen is frozen. It's not working. Okay. So let's make a sentence using um, travel every year uh, with he. He travel every every year. Would it be in the present continuous or the present simple? He travel every year. Travel. Simple present. Both present. Yes. So can you make this sentence? Every year. He travels. He's traveling every year. In that case, because we're using every year, we must use the simple present. So he travels. He travels every year. Because it's something habitual, right? Travels. 
Okay, I still cannot get my screen to work. You can write in the chat. No, I can't. I can't do anything. It's all frozen. Oh. Signal language. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> need a reset. Yeah, I may need to, but I can't. It's the last class. Don't worry. Yeah, so... Oh my gosh, this is sure one. I don't know what to do. It doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. So let's see. Um, can you give me another example using the present continuous? Maybe. So tell me about something that's going on around you. I am drinking um, herbal tea. Okay, you're drinking herbal tea. Very good. Yes. Another example, please. I am using my cell phone. You're using your cell phone, okay. Another I, am one? I am cooking my dinner. I'm cooking my dinner, very good. And now tell me about things that you do every day. What are some things you do every day? I get up early every day. Okay. I get up early every day. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, when we do it habitually, right? So we do it every day. I'm get, I get up um, early every day. But if it was that I only, I'm only getting up early tomorrow, then I just say it in the person continues. So it all depends on, the, on how often we do something, right? So if it's something that is not permanent, you can use the person continues. If you're talking about something permanent, then you use the simple present. If you're talking about habits or routines, um yeah i don't know what to do with my screen because it still doesn't work but, but we can we can see your mouse pointer oh you can move. see it move and everything yeah and i have the toolbar over here but it doesn't respond this is weird <laughs> okay so um uh, I think that most of you have done the, the final test, but let me just um, tell you about the directions pretty briefly. Let me get it in myself. Okay, so in the final test, we have four different parts. The first one is a listening exercise. So there you have the audio, you must listen to the audio. Remember that, um, well, we recommend you to listen the most three times. And then, well, you have to listen to the conversations and select the correct answer. There you have some answers with some blanks. And you have some different options. You must choose the option that is correct. Then in the next part, we have to complete conversations using do, does, or would. And there you have to type the words that you need. So you choose do, does, or would. And in the next part, we have a multiple choice exercise. You have to choose the correct word. There you have, again, some different options. You just have to choose the one that corresponds, the one that completes the sentence or the question. And at last, we have a reading exercise. You must read the article, then check the correct answers. And that's about it. So there you have um, some, 
some options in order to complete the sentences you are presented. And that will be all in the final exam. So do we have any questions, any doubts? I have a question Tell about me. the past example. Mm -hmm. If correct, if I say, I'll be getting up um, early tomorrow, I'll or I have up. to say, yes, or I have to say, I'm getting up early tomorrow. Yeah, you could use uh, I will get up early tomorrow or I am getting up early tomorrow. Both options are correct. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Any other questions? That's my doubt. Mm, yes, uh, I am a question. In in the miss in the same case, the 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 beside the, the change, pardon. Mm -hmm. Um, are you seeing I'm going to get up early tomorrow? No. Yes, um, you can not also. Correct. Yes, you can also use going to in that case. I'm going to get up early tomorrow. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Okay. Thank. You. Okay. Any other question? No. 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 All no right. Question. So thank you very much for participating oh, in my classes. It was a pleasure for me. Take care. Continue practicing English. And I hope to see you soon. Take care. Thank Take care, you. Miss. Thank, you. Thank, you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Take care. Good night. Bye. 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 See you soon, teacher. See you. Take care. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.